Hey guys, this is Adam Fow here, and today I am going to show you one of my favorite shoulder exercises that really hits the side of your shoulders, the lateral raise. Now, when you actually look at this exercise, it's probably one of the most simple looking exercises that you could do in the gym, but just because it looks simple, it's actually not. And I would say that this is the exercise that is actually performed incorrectly the most often by the most amount of people. And personally, it took me years to actually get this down right. So when you do the lateral raise, you could do seated, you could do standing. I personally prefer standing. And you wanna make sure that you are using your side delt. A lot of people, they will lead with their wrists. And when you lead with your wrists like this, what you'll see is that your front delt is actually taking over the movement and you now shifted all of the emphasis that you were trying to put on your side delt onto your front delt and that completely defeats the purpose of the movement and you might as well be doing a front raise. Rather than come up with your wrists, you want to be leading the movement with your elbows. I kind of like the analogy that I've heard before where it's like you're pouring a pitcher of water. So when you bring up the weight, you lead with your elbows, you kind of turn like you're pouring a pitcher of water at the top and this allows you to lead with your elbow and by leading with your elbow instead of your wrist, you're really putting all the emphasis on your side delt and that is the goal of the exercise. Now, it is a little bit easier said than done. You do need to practice and it might take you some time to get used to it. Start with lighter weight. Make sure you're really focusing on leading with your elbows. If you tell yourself to lead with your elbows, you'll start to feel more in your side delts and over time, you'll get much better at it and it really is the most effective exercise that you can do for your side delts. And side delts don't really get hit in any other exercise. Your front delts get hit with like pressing movements like bench press. Your rear delts get hit with rowing movements like barbell rows. But your side delts really don't get hit in any other exercise. So it really is important to master this exercise if you do want your side delts to grow over time. As far as the range of motion, you don't wanna to go too high and you do not want to use momentum. So what I personally like to do is I bring up my shoulder right about here, right about straight, and then I lower back down. There's no need to go way too high like that. You could actually hurt yourself and you're, once you get to a certain point, you're actually taking all the emphasis off of your shoulder anyway. So no need to go too high. You don't want to swing and use momentum because then you're also shifting some emphasis off of your shoulders. And I also personally like to lean slightly forward, not too forward. You don't want to be too straight up because then if you, your body gets in the way of the dumbbells, you want to go slightly forward so that you can bring the dumbbells in front of you and not stand straight up where you have to bring it to your side. So slight forward, don't bring it too high, don't use momentum. And if you're interested in my other workout tips, feel free to check out these videos over here and also make sure you subscribe to the channel.